Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily make lots of text updates in your Figma designs with Markdown files using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the little resources icon at the top of your Figma file and if you click on that and search for CopyDoc, under the plugins tab you'll see CopyDoc pop up. All you need to do to run it is just click on that item and then you can click on the run button down here or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon and just clicking on the save Figma plugin uh, link down here. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas and just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins and then click on the copy doc item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So CopyDoc has a bunch of different features uh, that you can explore. I'm not gonna be going through all of them today. If you wanna check out those ones, you can go on the YouTube channel and just check out the CopyDoc playlist. But today I'm just gonna be focusing on exporting and importing markdown files to make text updates in your designs. So to get started, all we need to do is click on this little export text layers button. And this is gonna bring up any frames that are currently in your Figma file. So today I've only got one, so I'm just gonna keep that one selected and then click on the uh, drop down here and make sure that Markdown is selected. You can export it to different formats, but for today we're just gonna be looking at Markdown. So I'm just gonna click on Markdown and then export the Markdown by clicking on the Export Markdown button. So if you click on that, that will basically export the text to a Markdown file that you can download. So I'm gonna click on the Download Markdown Export button, download that to my desktop and then if you unzip the file, uh, you'll open up the folder and you'll be able to see that we've got a markdown file and also a designs file, just as a bit of a visual reference if you're translating this or updating the content in your text editor. So to open up the file, you can basically use a code editor or a markdown editor. Uh, today I'm just gonna be using this markdown editor and opening that up. So you can see here that I've basically got my Figma file exported and it's including all of our different text layers uh, with the content in between each of the IDs. So basically you wanna leave these uh, ID layers or ID lines alone, uh, cause they're gonna map the text back into Figma later, but you can start making text content updates just by editing the content here. So for example, we could change uh, hello to welcome. We can change uh, this body copy here. So we can say uh, this is portfolio and you can make uh, updates to longer bits of copy as well so maybe we want to uh, just change around this copy a little bit add some line breaks in there maybe you want to add some formatting as well so you can add formatting in markdown uh, just by adding in these little star icons so that'll do bold if you want to do italic you can basically add uh, a single star on each side and that will make the text italic and you can see here that any bold text has also automatically been uh, included with the markdown formatting. So that's bold text there. And you can see here, there's a few different uh, other options we can have a look at. But today, I'm just gonna be keeping it really simple. Uh, maybe we can uh, unbold one of these items as well. So I'll unbold the uh, home link here. And maybe I wanna bold the about us link instead. So we'll just make those changes for now. I'm just gonna save the markdown file again and if we now minimize that and go back to CopyDoc, if you now click on the import text layers button, so we clicked export before, now we're gonna click on import text layers. And what we're gonna do is drag and drop our saved markdown file into the little drop zone here. So I'm gonna open my folder again, I'm just gonna grab that markdown file we just saved, drag that into the little drop zone here, and you should see the updates that we just made show up. So you can see we've got a list of all the changes that have been made. Uh, so we can preview those, we can select or deselect changes that we want to apply or not apply. Uh, but you can basically see here that we've got our updates that we made in the markdown file applying in the plugin now as a preview. So now we want to actually update those uh, text changes in the file. So I'm going to click on the update Figma text layers button here. And that's basically going to go through and automatically update that content. So you can see here the changes that we made are the heading. So we've got this welcome text instead of hello. We've got our subtitle of the portfolio that we added. And we've got our home link, uh, which is now not bold. And the about us link is bold instead. So we've changed the formatting of that content there. Uh, and we've also just changed the line break of the main text here. So it's just a handful of changes, but 
uh, quite effective at making updates to the body copy with formatting changes just in one uh, drag and drop. So the other thing we can do is export this with grouped layers as well. So for example, if we go to the export text layers button again, and this time I'm just gonna also change uh, some of this copy to be the same. So I'm just gonna make this one welcome as well. And I'm also just gonna change uh, these ones down here. So that's the same. And if we make uh, this one the same as the other one at the top, so I'm just gonna make these two the same. And that should be enough for now, just to show you what this looks like. So if we re-export the text layers, so I'm just gonna click on export text layers. And this time, if you click on the group duplicate text layers toggle, so I'm just gonna click on that now, and then click on the export markdown button again. And that's gonna allow us to download a new markdown export. So I'm just gonna save that, unzip it, and just rename that. So I'm just gonna call it new, and then go back to my editor. And so if I just close off that, go to my editor down here, and go back to desktop and go to my new folder. And you can see here that we've got a new uh, export. And you'll notice that this time it's a little bit different. So we've got some IDs getting uh, extra IDs in here with one set of text. So you can see for this welcome text, for example, we can see that it's got two Figma layer IDs uh, automatically added. And so that means we can basically make this text update in one spot and anywhere that that text has been uh, exported from originally. So for example, welcome and welcome down here. If we were to change that uh, in here, so I'm just gonna change that back to hello again and save that. And we can also change uh, these menu items here. So we've got uh, these ones. So I'm just gonna change that to mobile design. And I'm also just gonna change the company slogan to something new. So that's a pretty good overview of changing these uh, little details. So now if we save that again, exact same process, I'm gonna go back to Figma, click on the import text layers button again, and this time I'm just gonna drag and drop my new markdown file, which I just updated, drag and drop that into the plugin. And this time you'll see that uh, we've got those changes, but it's also changing the multiple text layers. So because we made a change for the welcome uh, layer in our file, we've got two different welcome layers in the actual design. So it's gonna automatically pick up on that change and allow us to apply it to multiple uh, layers at the same time. Same with our company slogan. Uh, we can check out where these text layers are as well, just by clicking on this little text icon. So if you wanna figure out uh, which layer relates to what, you can just go ahead and click on that. And that's just a really easy way of jumping to that layer that's gonna get updated when you do click that button. So this is just a nice little preview. If you don't wanna update any of them, you just uncheck them. For now, I'm just gonna update them all. So I'm gonna click on update Figma text layers again, and that's gonna go through and update six layers. So we can see here that mobile design has been updated in both of our layers here because we updated it in our group export. And you can see up here, we've now got hello uh, again in both these fields down here. And the company slogan that's been updated here and also in the footer. So that's just a really easy way if you've got a lot of duplicate text. So for example, a lot of times you'll have buttons with the same label. Uh, if you just wanna update them in one spot using the grouped export feature that we just went through here, uh, grouping du duplicate text layers is gonna be a really uh, seamless way of updating the text in one place in your markdown file and then re-importing it back into Figma. So that's basically it for the tutorial today. Uh, the last thing that you can do if you want to as well, if you don't want to export entire frames is you can just use this little quick export option down here. So if you click on the quick export button with some layers selected, that will automatically just export certain text layers. So you can just get a much smaller export if you just wanna export certain layers instead of the entire uh, Figma frame. You can go ahead and do that, export to Markdown and then re-import that using the import text layers button again. Okay, so uh, thank you as always for watching. I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to use Markdown files to update your Figma content easily, uh, this is gonna be a really quick way of going about it using the copy doc export and import feature. And uh, we'll see you in the next video very soon.